Notes Payable Basics Problem 3. On November 1st, Year 1, Orange Company borrowed $65,000 on a 9% 10-year note with annual installment payments of $6,500 plus interest due on November 1st of each succeeding year. On November 1st, Year 3, what is the balance of the long-term notes payable account? This question is asking what's the balance, the long-term portion of notes payable as of November 1st, year three, because we're told that this note starts November 1st, year one, and it goes for 10 year notes. Now, a few things to focus on. We're told specifically what portion of the notes payable is long term, so we don't have to identify what kind of liability or asset it is. It's notes payable. We're also given a time, time, different time amounts, 10 years on November 1st, and we're asked for November 1st, year three. It helps when I think about it visually. I mean, you can either, you can just make a simple calculation, which I can show you how to do that as well. I like to do little timelines. So we're on 11, one, year one, and we gotta go all the way to the future, all the way to the future. We're gonna go 10 payments. So 11, one, year one, 11, one, year two, 11, one, year three, 11, one, year four, 11, one, year five, 11, one, year six, 11, one year seven, 11, one year eight, 11, one year, year nine, 11, one year 10, 11, one year 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 payments. So again, this is year two, this is year three, this is year four, this is year five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and year 11. So it's all on that date because we're told that the annual installments are due on November 1st of each succeeding year. The idea is that in each of these little periods of time, it's going to be $6,500 gets paid. So on November 1st, year one, on the balance sheet, remember balance sheets, assets equals liabilities plus owner or stockholders equity. If we're looking at the liabilities portion on November 1st, when this note was taken out, you're going to see notes payable, the entire amount, $65,000, which again, we're paying interest on, or there's also uh, installments paid every year, the next succeeding November 1st. There's gonna be a current portion and a long term. The current portion is just the next $6,500 due. It's pretty simple, pretty simple. The long term portion is the 65,000 minus 6,500, that amount, which is $58,500. This question, that would be if I was asking the current versus long-term portion on November 1st, year one. This is on November 1st, year three. Now, a few ways you could do this. We could go through and we're looking on year three. So we're looking at this date, which means two payments have gone. They're already gone. Bye-bye. They've already been paid. So we only have eight additional payments left. Now, this payment is considered current and these are considered long-term. So I'll just put L's. So we've got one current and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven long term. So on this date, on November 1st, year three, on our balance sheet, again, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Can't stress that enough. Under the liability section, we're going to have notes payable. We're going to put our total amount, which is going to be 6,500 times eight. We're going to get that, but that's not what the question is asking, so we, I'm going to just gloss over that. You can do that calculation. The current portion is going to be 6,500. Again, just one C for between November 1st, year three, and November 1st, year four, so 6,500. The long-term portion is going to be 6,500 times seven, which equals $45,500. So that's the current versus long-term portion. Now you think we're done, right? You say, okay, well the long-term notes pay long-term portion of notes payable, that's the answer. I would tell you that if that's what the question was asking, then yes. And the reason why I did this is because I want to show you how important it is to pay attention to what the question is asking. It's just asking for the balance of the notes payable account, which the notes payable is very much a long-term notes payable because it's payable the, it matures long term. So this question is about, yes, I wanted to show you the breakdown, the current and long term, if you're asked the current portion versus long term portion, but I also want to instill in you that it's important to read the question. So this question is asking, what is the balance of notes payable? Yes, it says the long term, but it doesn't say long term portion. Like, oh, wow, that's kind of tricky. Yes, it is. 
it's considered a long-term notes payable account because it matures long-term. So as of November 1st, year three, you, the question is, when does this note mature? It, it matures on November 1st, year 11, and that means that it's considered long-term in general, in classification, the total amount in, in idea, not current versus long-term portion like we break out on the balance sheet, but if you're saying, oh yeah, this is, a, this is due in more than a year in, in terms of maturity, that's the idea. So the answer here is actually you combine these two numbers and you're going to get $52,000. That is the long-term notes payable balance. That is the long-term notes payable balance. If I asked you what is the long-term or long yeah long-term portion, it'd be $45,500 and the current portion is $6,500 and that's how you would break it up. But this is actually the long-term notes payable balance. So a little tricky there and I want to show you how important it is really to look at look at the language with respect to the question